winemakers around the world are not in the best of spirits. First, they were hit by a fall in demand from 234 million hectoliters in 2021 to 232 million hectoliters in 2022. And now, vineyards like these have turned in lower than expected yields, meaning wine production is down. The International Organization of Vine and Wine estimates that global wine production is likely to drop by 7% in 2023 from 2022 levels that were already below average. At between 241.7 and 246.6 million hectoliters across the 29 countries that account for 94% of total world wine production, this would be a 62-year low. This they blame on erratic weather patterns, from unseasonal rains to floods to drought to heat waves that have damaged crops. This year, 2023, uh, we expect uh, a very low production at the world level. And this is uh, the, the combination of uh, an extremely low harvest in all the major uh, Southern Hemisphere countries. Uh, at the same time, uh, we also saw that in some major European Union countries, such as Italy and Spain, uh, we had very low harvest as well. Going by provisional numbers for 2023, some top producers like Italy, Spain, Australia, Argentina, Chile, South Africa and Brazil have seen wine production fall between 10 and 30 percent. Greece suffered the most from bad climatic conditions, with output falling by over 45 percent. Only the USA and a few EU countries experienced favorable climatic conditions, resulting in average or above average volumes but experts point to a strange silver lining. We have, uh, um, let's say, a, a decline in wine consumption that started in 2018, more or less. So uh, it is true that a very low production this year is not good news, but at least it could bring some equilibrium to the, to the world market. India accounts for just 0.1% of global wine consumption, but Indian winemakers are also worried about the climate-induced fall in production. The variations in climate haven't been so much as yet, but however, there have been variations, especially with, with our rains. Our, our rains have been not following the, the, the predictable patterns. So what's happening is, is, um, is an era of, of unpredictability. For the Indian wine industry, however, there is still some time to make up when it comes to sales. Because peak demand season is between November and December, when the wedding and festive season hits fever pitch. But Indian winemakers share global industry's concerns when it comes to climate change. Because erratic weather patterns are tough to predict, and the effects of such hits to harvest seasons could be felt for many years. In Mumbai with Jaseelia K, Arundhati Ramanan.